greatest discomfort here. Nerve is impinged right now. C5, C6. Okay, you can see the obvious discomfort here. Nerve is impinged right now. C5, C6. As soon as we have the distraction, as we have the distraction, watch the distress right there. Everything melts away. We hold the distraction like this. I'm feeling his breath. Slight increase in distraction with the out breath. Coming back in on the in breath, moving with the rhythm of the body. You can see no stress right now on the nerve. We need to create enough space so we can make an adjustment in the cervical and the thoracic spine. Just for demonstration purposes, coming off of the decompression. Pressure on the nerve immediately shows patient discomfort. Still pressure, not as bad. Again, distraction. Watch for the release, there it is. Moving with the rhythm of the breath. We're gonna make one adjustment to the patient position. I'm coming off. Keep breathing, Mark. Let's see the impingement. So we'll wait till we bring the body back into a peaceful state. There's the drop. Good. <laughs> Breathe. Breathing. Look straight up. Look straight up. Perfect. Grab one. Just to here. There's no discomfort, no distress. So what you're going to do is you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I will follow your breath down like this. And then at the end of your breath, I'm going to push in that direction, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, nice and gentle. Breathing in and out. Good. The shirt is sinking in. The shoulders relax. Okay, good. Deep breath in and out. Lean back. Good. Good. One more. Let this go. Good. And what we're going to do for this one is I'm going to bring your hip down like this. And then when we get to right about here, we're just going to stretch in that direction and then push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, three, two, deep breath in and out. Good, we'll bring this down, good. Beautiful. Okay, so this is how we adjust the lumbar spine. Very similar, we're gonna bring the hips down to about there and then we're gonna push like that right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you stretch like this in the morning? Do you do this stretch where you lay and do the side? Yeah, a little bit different way, but okay, close. a little bit similar. Yeah, close. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, same thing. Breathe. Out. Good. Again, in and out. Good. Okay, let's do this now. Turn your head to the right. Good, back to center. Now turn your head to the left. 
Back to center. Tuck your chin to your chest. Good, back to center is perfect. Okay, now push your head straight back. Good, but don't lift your chin, yes. Good, relax. Okay, beautiful. It's going to be gentle and soft. All you have to do is breathe. Good. And down. That's perfect. Good breath there. Just stay with the flow of the breath in and out. Good. Just letting everything drop into the table as you breathe out. That was perfect right there. Good. Gentle, gentle little pushing. Good. Let it go. <laughs> Wow. Good. Okay, let's do the left side now. Now, you just kind of like let your head, let me do all the work. All right. I'll move the head and so I'm gonna test first and see where we need to adjust. So just kind of sink in here, good. Seven, six, five, four, three. Now. Good, let your neck completely relax. Let your head just sink in. We're just pushing, just testing. Seven. Good, right at five. So let your head drop in and let your shoulders drop in too. That's good. Good, one more time, let this go. Now the next one, I'm just gonna lift your head like this, and then we're gonna pull in this direction, okay? Nice and gentle, let your shoulders relax. Good, let this go.
case squeeze. Okay, deep breath in through your nose. Out and out. Okay, this time when you breathe in, fill your belly with air. Like, fill your belly up. There you go. Out. Again. Out. Again. Keep going. Go ahead and reach back with your hand, your left hand. Very good. Now do the same thing with the right. Let the left hand go down. Right hand up. Okay, not much difference. Okay, relax. This, let this relax. Okay, bring your left hand to the small of your back again. I'm sorry, right hand. Very good. Good, let this relax. Okay, Zebulon, I found a couple things to adjust here today. Uh, I'm gonna start off in your thoracic spine here. We've got one at the top, one in the middle. It shouldn't be too difficult to adjust your spine. Your spine moves. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but you're very muscular, so um, sometimes we have to push a little bit harder for uh, if you have a little bit more muscle mass. I'm a bit so, stiff. <laughs> what's that? I'm a bit stiffer sometimes too. It does get stiffer in your lower back. Yeah. Um, after I adjust your thoracic spine, we'll recheck a couple things right. and see if we've got your um, see if we got your pelvis lined up correctly. Okay. Then we'll do some pelvic adjustments. Then we'll flip over. We'll look at your neck and do some other things. Okay. Cool. But there's no red flags here. There's no. So it doesn't sound like you have any disc issues. It doesn't sound like you have any pinched nerves. Okay. You don't have any curvatures in your spine, okay? okay? So this is pretty straightforward musculoskeletal stuff. And I feel like an adjustment today is going to help you out, okay? All right. All right, let's do upper thoracic first. I'm going to start with this one up here. Okay, now just kind of like sinking in, let your shoulders go. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna follow your breath out. And as you breathe out, then we're gonna push like that, okay? All right. Okay, let's start with this one here, nice and gentle breathing in through your nose. 
not through your mouth. So let it go. Go let your breath go. Let your shoulders go. Let your hips go. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, that was very good, Zeppelon. Now we're gonna come down to the mid thoracic spine. Most likely there. Let's keep checking though, make sure. All right, I think this is the only one. I'm gonna recheck this after I adjust, but we'll start with this guy. Same thing, deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Let your shoulders relax here. <laughs> Go let your hips relax, let your shoulders relax. That's good. <clears throat> Let's try this one all, all the way at the bottom now. So what you're gonna do, this one's a little bit different. This time we push at the top of your in-breath. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then as you let it out, we'll give it a push. Good, let that out. Let your shoulders sink as you let that out. Okay, I'm gonna bend your knees. Don't help me, okay? Just let me do it. All right. Bring the shoulder back like this and the hip down like this. But just try to like let your whole body sink into the table. Uh -huh. I can tell you're holding this leg still. Does this hurt? No. Okay. Let the shoulder come back. Go let your hips relax. Let your whole body sink into the table. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, let yourself feel yourself letting go into the table. Go let it go. Loose, 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 loose. One more breath. We're going to follow your breath down just like the others. Then we're going to give a little push at the end. Good. Shoulders relaxed. Good. Bring this down. Good. Gentle. Let your hips go. Shoulders. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're back. That was really good. I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to uh, loosen up at first. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. You did great. Oh, we skipping a stretch today. <laughs> stretch day, the stretch should be every day, before and after. Warm up stretch, cool down stretch, yeah. let, your head, let your head relax. Because the thing is though, is that if you, the more that you stretch, I think that you'll, you would see your gains go up too. Yeah. Muscle contraction. Yeah. Uh, maybe you remember from Kines, like, oh, yeah. you know, like, like the bicep muscle is at its weakest here. It gets stronger, stronger, stronger. It's at its strongest here. Mm -hmm. And then it gets weaker, 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 weaker. Mm -hmm. So the curve, it's like a bell curve. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you know, if you do more stretching, then you're accessing those, those higher ranges of motion deeper, further. Let the shoulder relax here. Okay, now letting your shoulders go. Same thing. We need to hips for just a little bit more. Good. Let your shoulders relax. Breathing. Good. We're going to get in here to this lumbar spine and see how this feels. Yeah, this L5 and it's L5S1. So what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust this, uh, adjust the sacrum down there. Okay, so same thing as before. Gentle following your breath. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good, end out. Good. We're gonna bring this down like this. Good, let your hips go, let your shoulders go. Yes. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> okay, lay on your back. That was great. It was, it's crunchy in there, man. Yeah. <laughs> your spine moves well. Just 
this. Okay, let's do this. Turn your head to the right, center, left, center. Bring your left ear down to your left shoulder. Center. Oh, okay, just let your head sink into my hand. That's very good. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the right side. So this is how this adjustment works. I'm gonna bring it over to right here, and then just let your head drop in, let your shoulders drop in, and then right from here, we're gonna push in that direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Like a gentle, nice and gentle, breathing in, good and out. Good, let your head relax, let your shoulders relax, loose, loose. Ooh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. Okay, now we're gonna do the left side. Same thing, gentle. Let me do all the work here. Let me move your head. There you go. Let it drop. Let it go. Good. So you want to feel your head like just dropping like that, especially with the out breath. It's always easier to drop on the out breath. So let me test this. Let your head relax. This is where we had the scope. Lift up your head again, sorry. Did you make it? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so um, let your head drop. Good. Okay, so let me test first. Let this go here. We're gonna see which one. Seven, six, five. Let this relax here. Got some trap fibers, man. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four. Right in the middle of five. Okay, let your head drop into the table here, Zebulon. There you go, just like that. You're nice and relaxed. Let's bring this through. Woo! Oh, man. I felt like a shockwave go through my right hand. Damn. <laughs> I felt that through my whole body, honestly. Mm. <laughs> wow.
Let your ankle go and just kind of sink in here. Ooh. Let this relax, let it relax. Tender? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, deep breath into your belly here, into your belly. Breathe in. Good, and out. This time breathe in, but like push your belly out when you breathe in. Okay. Yes, okay. and then when you breathe out, suck it back in. Good, and out. Good. Do that again, same thing. Out. In. Out. In. Good. Keep going. Out. Good. In. Out. In. Out. Good. Keep going. Out. In. Have you ever seen this adjustment before? No. Alright, move towards your uh, feet just a little bit. Down towards your feet. Yeah, like your whole body. Slide your whole body down. Good right there. Okay, so for this adjustment, I use this towel to support your cervical spine. Your upper, rest your arms on your belly. There you go. And so nice and gentle, we're just breathing. I'm using the towel to help traction your spine in that direction, okay? Okay, keep your teeth together. Take a nice gentle breath in and out. Chill it all the way down to your lower back. Yeah, definitely. See what's happening here. Okay, lean forward just a little bit. Okay, do you have any pain when we push like this? No. Okay, let this relax here. Let this go loose, loose. Ooh! Nice and gentle. Sinking in. We're gonna adjust the thoracic spine now. Okay, good. Go. 
to figure out. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one we're gonna push at the top of the breath, okay? Okay. Deep breath in through your nose, all the way in, far in as you can go. Let your shoulders sink as you breathe out. Okay, start with this one. Breathe in, knee back as you blow it out.
Okay. Now we're gonna we're also gonna do this one here flipped over, but let's start off with mm -hmm. this one here. All right, high left shoulder here, so. Good. Mm. Not that one. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice and gentle. Sink in with the shoulders. Go. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good. All the way. Okay, so this is how we adjust the low back. Was, what we're going to do is just kind of bring, you're nice and relaxed here, so this is good. All you have to do is keep breathing. We're going to bring your hips down like this, push like that right there, that L5 here. Okay? Good. Breathe in, out. Good. Down. Good. Good. <laughs> but they were all right underneath my yeah, hand, though. They weren't yeah. anywhere else. They were no. all underneath my hand. Now, we're going to adjust the, the PI here, the posterior inferior. Oh, well, we've already got some movement there in the SI joint, but let's see. But there's more. Okay, so this is an EX, so we're going to have to shut it down that way with the rotation. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, shoulders relaxed, good. Hold on, I lost my spot, we're gonna do that again. Good, there. Good, good. Lay in your back. Oh, wow. All right, let's take a look at your neck. Turn your head to the right. Center. Okay, now turn your head to the left. Center. Okay, here we go. Now turn your head to the right. Center. Left. Center. Okay, bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Good. Center. Left ear to left shoulder. Center. One more time, left ear to left shoulder. Center. It, your leg length actually changed to become more balanced on both rotations. Mm -hmm. So that tells me you have a um, bilateral upper cervical. And so now what do I have to distinguish if it's bilateral upper cervical is which time, on which side is it the occiput and atlas, and then on the other side, it's most likely the atlas and axis, C1 and C2. And so what it feels like to me is here is this, this is C2. So C1, C2 on the left, and C1 on the right. But let's just, let's do this. Now, is this more tender on the left or the right? Um, probably slightly more on the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now and then you and then everything got a, and then everything became the most balanced when you laterally flexed to the left. So that tells me that there's something mid to lower, and I, you have a trigger point here. Is that tender? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this is mid cervical mm -hmm. spine C four and five. So what we're going to do is we'll adjust atlas first, and that may clear up the C one C two on the left, and then we can just concentrate on the the mid cervical spine on the left. So let's start with that. Now for the neck adjustment, what we're gonna do is just bring you over to the side like this, and then we're gonna push in this direction here like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and gentle, just kind of sink in here, that's good. We're gonna bring this over to the side. Go do the same thing again. Good, dropping in shoulders, hips. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Quick rush. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs>
<laughs> you remember Peter? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> oh man. You too. Like, you say more words at the same time than twin sisters. <laughs> 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 Let's check the left side. So automatically the C1, C2 feels better on this side. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel it even anymore. So now let's come down to the middle. Now, and actually that trigger point that was in the middle seems to have reduced as well. It's still here, but it's not as much. Still tender there? Mm-mm. Oh. So corrections on the left side just after adjusting the right. That's why there are some techniques in chiropractic that will only adjust the very top of the spine. They'll just adjust C1. Because mm -hmm. everything underneath of that may correct itself, kind of like a domino effect. Everything's connected. You're, you're a kinesis major, you know. It's mm -hmm. a kinetic chain. So let's test and see where in the cervical spine we're going to adjust next. So I'm going to bring your head over like that and just try to relax and let this go. Now, seven, six, five, six. Six is the most but well, you've got good range of motion here, and I can guarantee that you get a lot of cracking here on your own. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this one right here is the only one that has a little bit of stuckness to it, so we'll give that a little bit of a push here. Good. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. Whoo. That feels pretty good. <laughs> uh, and the reason why that one is good is because that's the only one that you can't get on your own. Mm. And I could feel that there was only one there to adjust. So it was just as <laughs> obvious. So it's like, so so this goes back to the hypermobility, hypomobility um, equation, is that when you're hypermobile, usually that's a compensation for one segment that's hypomobile. So you usually get mm. one segment that's stuck mm -hmm. and the ones above it and below it will then modify their movements or will then compensate and become hypermobile. Okay, so let's do one more. And just lift your head like this, and then I'm gonna pull your head in this direction, and then like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good breath there. Wow. You said your parents used to make you crack their toes? I've never cracked. They'd be like, my mom like pull my toes. I'm like, ew. But since she's my mom, I love it a bit, so. Okay, first thing, fib, fibula. First posterior and lateral tibia. Now the next thing for me is I come across the quad tendons here. Now this turns into the patella. Yeah. So for you, this quadricep is probably a key. It's, yeah, my hips are tight too, which would affect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then my posture when I stand, my feet go outward, which proves that my hips are tight. And like my mm -hmm. toes are pointing outward. What muscle is this? Anterior tibialis. Yeah, perfect. Flex. This is how you adjust the patella. Oh. Extend. Flex. Extend. Okay, but your your patella glides perfectly. Hold on, relax for a second. Okay, squeeze. Squeeze hard. Hard. Relax. Your A doctor, your adductors are weak here for sure. Oh, okay. Squeeze again. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. see. Go ahead and push out. Okay, there you go. Squeeze. Good. Okay, relax. Okay, squeeze yeah, it feels again. Feels like almost cramping. Squeeze. Good. Relax. Where? In the inside. Yeah. Right. I'm not going there. Okay. All right. So iliosecal valve. First, you find the umbilical and the ASIS here. Now we connect the two and find the point in between in the middle. 
now. That how's that feel? That's cool. Actually, is he said that's cool? Yeah. yeah. It's actually it's actually your ab. That's why. I oh, thought it was yeah. a, I thought it was the valve, and I went a little bit deeper. And I was no, that was just your abdomen. Oh. Tender. A little bit. Good. So you guys have clean diets. You can see the difference immediately with um, with a clean diet versus processed foods. Much more difficult to digest processed foods. Mm -hmm. Much more strain on the system. So people have typically will have more tender uh, valves or even the organs themselves. Now, is that tender there? Mm -hmm. There's just a little bit here. It's not bad. This is the uh, descending colon here. Yeah. You got one on deck, bro. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, squeeze. No. Good. Squeeze. Lunate here. Good, we're going to lean forward just a little bit more. And then we'll do everything else, okay? Oof. Okay, Boris. Let's practice an adjustment first, just so you can kind of feel what it's like, okay? Cool. All right, so you're going to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, good. As you breathe out, I'm going to follow your breath down like this. At the end of the breath, we'll give a little push like that. And then we'll probably hear some popping sounds, okay? We're going to need to do two. Okay, so let's do that again. Deep breath in and out. And let your back sink in. Let your shoulder blades sink in. in through your nose and out. Okay, and one more deep breath in, far in as you can go. Good. And out softly. One more, let your shoulders down. Now, this is how we adjust the low back, okay? Okay. Here, just like the other adjustments, it's very gentle. I don't have to push hard. We're just going to kind of bring your shoulders up in this direction. I'm going to bring your hips down. Okay. And then we'll push like that, okay? Okay. Okay, breathing. Good, Shay. Good. Good breath. Hold on, there's more. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to bring the hip down a little bit further to about there and then give another push, okay? Okay, breathing in. Got one more time. In. And out. Good, we're gonna bring this down.
Okay. You ready to get your neck adjusted? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to bring your head over to the side, like right about here, Boris. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right from there, we're going to push, okay? Okay, gentle breathing. Good. Very good. Gentle. <laughs> good. There's one more. It's a little bit lower. <laughs> Okay, let me test the right side here and see where we need to adjust. Seven, six, five, four. Let it go loose, loose. Good. 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 Okay, now let your head drop here. Good. <laughs> He's got some really good adjustments. I feel like a new person. When did you first notice that you're having stomach issues? Uh, about 10. 10. 10 years ago? Yeah. First time I pulled my back, it was about 10. 12 years ago? Um, 12, 13 years ago, yeah. So, okay. so. Where were you living at the time? Uh, Brooklyn. Okay. And how old are you now? Uh, 37. Somewhere around 25. <laughs> Tender? Yes. What's your breakfast like? What do you eat for breakfast? Uh, like a cookie with uh, warm water. Cookie? Yeah, yeah, a cookie. I like cookies. Your wife's laughing at you. Yeah, yeah. It's true. <laughs> it's, true. it's true. It's like I mean, I cookie. believed him, yeah. It's a, like old milk cookie. All right, uh-huh. I mean, why not? It's just that easy, right? Yeah, you just yeah. do what you want, eat what you want. Yeah. Oh. You ever had your gallbladder checked? Um, no. Breathe.
both of your stomachs right now. You can hear it at yours over there. Yeah. Yours is moving a little bit now. I hear yours. You must be relaxed now. You must not be as nervous anymore. Okay, nice and gentle. Actually, this is probably not going to be tip really gentle. You're going to have to push. We need some thrust here. You're a big dude. So we're going to have to come with it. Shoulders let loose all the way down. Good. Shoulders down. Yep, go ahead and breathe in. And lean back, all the way down. Good. Let your shoulders relax, but let this kind of sink in here. Good, out again. Good, can come back up. Like this. Good. We're going to bring your whole leg up this time. Good. Now, let the shoulders relax and so bring this up. Good. One more. Okay, lay on your back. And try a different way. Good. Breathing in. Out. Good. You're gonna feel the table pop up like this. Okay. And you're gonna feel it drop. We're gonna do a series of drops here. I'm gonna push into your spine. You're gonna feel it drop. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on your knee now. Tender? Uh, no. Good. 
One more time, it's almost there. Oh. Get it in the back. All right, turn your head to the right. Center. Left. Center. Okay, again to the right. Center. Left. Center. Okay, so we're just gonna lift, and then right from here, push like that. Good breath there, Kelsey, do that same thing in. Good, and out. Okay, let your head relax. Okay, now left side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your head over to the side. Let your head drop, good. Sorry. It's all right. Bumping the microphone always makes for a good sound anyway. All right, for right about here, let's see, seven, six, five, six, seven. It's right at six. Good, sinking in, let your shoulders go. It was like a, I know you can't like actually feel it maybe, but it feels like there's like this, fluid sort of but like obviously more like maybe like a gas but like i don't know like something like something like starts moving again and everything just feels kind of like loose is not like the correct word but it's the best i can come up with right now okay i'm gonna wrap this around your neck now I'm just gonna use this to create a little bit of traction. We're gonna give this a little bit of a pull in this direction, okay? together again. I was focused on the instructions. Hold, hold your knees together. Hold your knees together. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it. The point halfway between. Tender. A little bit.
Tender? Mm, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I kind of feel taller. Do you drum too? Uh, I play guitar. I know that. I played your guitar before. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can I um, just relax? <laughs> uh, finger drum. Tabla? Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that I guess would be the natural thing to assume when I said that. Uh, like a machine. Native instruments like NPC. Oh yeah. Sample pad. I'm doing that one. Uh, and it's like pressure sensitive, so like if I needed to hit like really heavy, I gotta hit it hard. So I mean, in a sense, I do percussive things with my fingers. Gotcha. Good. Relax. There you go. There you go. Forward. Good. That down. Bring this up here. Still feels easier, like somehow. Created space. Let's practice an adjustment just because you've never been adjusted before. Okay. What you're going to do is take a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. I'm going to follow your breath down like this. And at the end of your breath, we're going to give a little push like that, okay? okay. And. Oh. Oh. That felt very complete to me. We're just going to go one segment above that, in and out. Good. Okay, I'm going to bring your head over to the side like this. Okay, another deep breath in and out. Good, gentle here. Uh, we're going to push at the top of your inhale, okay? okay? So do that again. In. Good. And out. Oh. Like straight. We're going to bend the top leg here. Good. And I'll switch forward just a little bit like that. I'm going to bring this out just a little bit like that. I'm going to bring your hip down to just like right about there. And then we're gonna push in that direction, okay? Okay. Okay. Same breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. Good. Let your shoulders relax. Good. Okay, turn your head to the right. 
Center. Turn your head to the left. Different. Center. Bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Center. Left ear to left shoulder. Are you left handed? Mm hmm. <laughs> you, let's see, you, you know, you can tell if the people is left handed. Mm -hmm. When you're left hand versus right hand dominant, it tends to show up in the, the symmetry of the spine. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's tender. Oh, my God. So here, just letting the shoulders sink in. Good. Loose, loose, loose. Good. Keep breathing again. Good. Hmm. And don't let your shoulders just kind of sink in. Good. That's perfect for you. Just let it all sink. Sink. Okay, nice and gentle breathing here. Oh. That was a good one there with the, the neck. Oh, oh yeah. That was great. Alright, I'm going to do an ileocecal valve release here. We're going to find the umbilical. ASIS, connect a line. Connect the dots, make a line in between the two. Tender. A little bit. Good, nice deep breaths into your belly. Good belly breath there. Belly breath. Oh, yeah. I can tell immediately. Breathing through your nose. Out. In.
Well, I can feel something releasing in there. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. Oh. That's better than the last one. Yeah, yeah. 